Hello everyone, and my voice is back. So first, I am wetting the whole paper with water. And if you have been following me since the start, you'll notice that this is my favorite painting technique. So today, I will be painting a seascape using mixed media. I will be combining acrylic paint and watercolor paint. So I am using watercolor paint first. I am using Prussian blue and painting just the half part of the paper. Okay, so now I am mixing acrylic blue lake on top of my watercolor paint. I have noticed that acrylic paint is not easily absorbed by paper unless it was thoroughly watered down so this will give me some texture for the sea. Okay, so just adding some darker pigments. Okay, now I am painting the waves of the sea on the right side using a white gouache and mixing some white acrylic paint as I paint over the blue part. I am applying the paint in short strokes with my brush to create this illusion of big waves. And adding more darker pigments of blue for a deep water effect. Okay, and adding more white and constantly mixing my white acrylic to my white gouache. So notice how the paint spreads on the paper but not actually bleeding on the blue paint. It just stays on top. This gives me more control as to where I want the waves to go. Unlike using pure watercolor paint on wet on wet technique, the colors just bleed together and blend when applied. Mixing acrylic paint gives me more control in applying the paint. I know I can use pure acrylic paint but I want my painting to be fluid. So I can still have that less control factor because of the water. And I still want the water to do its magic. Okay, so touching up some dark areas. And adding more white. Okay, so now I have switched brushes and adding more highlights on the waves. I am now using pure acrylic paint. Occasionally, I am watering it down a bit in order to blend. I am putting the highlights on the edge part of the waves to give this effect of being on top or like a 3D effect. There are some areas that I wanted to do some blending, so I am painting the highlights while the paper is still wet.
Okay, so now I am happy with the overall look. We can now leave the paint to dry before adding more details. Okay, so now our painting is dry. Um, I'll ha I have this small brush. And I will now paint more details on the waves and give the painting more depth. I am highlighting mostly the edges of the waves. Um, I am actually standing up while doing this. It helps to see it from afar in order to see the overall look of the painting and then retouching it from there. Okay, so detailing takes a bit of time and patience but I don't really mind. What's important is we are enjoying the process. So now you can see the waves are already popping out and are more pronounced.
Now for the final details, I am adding some thin lines like veins on the tip of the waves. This will represent the small water suds um, the waves create when crashing into each other. I am using a number zero detail brush for this and I am painting the lines very lightly. So if you are enjoying this, make sure to like this video and comment what you think of the process. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell in order to be updated on upcoming videos. Okay, so here's my Raging Waters Deep Blue Sea painting. Thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.